How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. Yes, you read that title correct. Street Fighter is back on Xbox. And, of course, I'm talking about the recently announced, revealed Street Fighter 6. We all knew it was coming. Duh. There was that funny, um, like, not news, but, like, when they revealed the trailer, people essentially clowned Capcom because it looked like something off of, like, I think it was like Photoshop or, you know, some like effect thing, like some free market thing. Like it was like, like placeholder uh, logo. But despite that, we finally got gameplay just recently at the Sony, we could call it press conference. I'm assuming e their E3, because of course E3 proper is canceled. And, you know, I'm assuming this is Sony's what was going to be their, like, summer event, right? And, yeah, they revealed it. I mean, they also showed Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yo, hype. I'm, I never played the original. Yeah, I know. Kill me. <laughs> so I'm excited to try it out. Next gen only, though. So it comes out March next year, 2023. So be on the lookout. Looks really good. Um, Yeah. But Street Fighter, man, I'm hyped. Like, so when I saw it, I will admit, I was just kind of like, oh, it's going to be a PlayStation exclusive again, so why do I care? But no, of course, you read, like, the press, right? The news that comes out after, and yes, weirdly, though. So it's coming out on PC, PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series. No Xbox One, which I, I guess, I mean... You have to remember Street Fighter V, when it came out, it was funded by Sony, hence why that game was exclusive on PlayStation. But it, I'm glad to see at least, hey, it is back on Xbox, so hey, to my bros out there who still got the Xbox One or One X, you know, I feel you, but sadly, you, you know, can't play it on there. But the series is getting easier, whether S or X, to get out there seeing them more in the wild so you know you got it i know you, you'll be able to get it soon but yeah it's coming out i'm excited again i grew up with street fighter uh you know i loved it i mean ever since two you know <laughs> two turbo or hyper fighting i loved it like seriously and i for once so i won't get too deep into it but like um, there is a story, believe it or not, for Street Fighter, and um, if you're aware with it at all, Street Fighter 3, those games are like the end of the timeline, like the farthest, like if I have it correct, you know, you can correct me in the comments, it should be the original Street Fighter, the Alpha, and like, or Zero, if you know by that series, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4, 5, and then... Six, and I say that because <clears throat> oh, wait, uh, five, three, three, then now six. I say that because, um, in the trailer, we see Ryu has a beard, which in every other game he never does. And I know it's like, okay, so what? That could just be a design choice. But if you pay attention in this trailer, like Ryu's wearing a, like a scarf or something, and it looks a lot like Oro's robe because in Street Fighter 3. He was training with Oro, and like, yeah, so it could be that Oro has passed on, you know, because he is old. He was like a hermit. He was like old as shit. But yeah, and like Chun Li, her, I think it was like niece, cousin, I forget. But in Street Fighter Three, she's a little girl, and in the trailer we see her, and she's like a teen. So again, this is, we're finally moving forward in the timeline. If you care about that sort of thing. I know a story and a fighting game aren't the best, right? Only, like, what, Mortal Kombat comes to mind in terms of, like, high production value. But they're fun. I mean, it's fun, you know, to, like, why these characters are fighting and all that. And, yeah, so, finally, it's going past. And another little thing I'd like to point out. Uh, we see the character Thrasher or Damned. Uh, Thrasher in the West, but he's also known as Damned. It's like this final fight boss, like this like darker skinned guy with blonde like dreadlocks. He's a boss in final fight, I believe the first one. And that's like a tradition uh, Capcom has of since Street Fighter 4, I believe, they've added a boss. So Hugo was in 4, 
In five, they added Abigail. And in six, it seems like they're adding Thrasher. Again, these are all final fight bosses becoming characters. And only Hugo has stuck around, right? He's always like DLC. Uh, Abigail, we'll see, right? Who knows? But yeah, it's cool to know that they're keeping that trend going. And I hope we see Cody, Poison, you know, give me my final fight characters. Those are usually my favorite ones. Like um, Cody was always like my favorite. I always loved to use him. So yeah, it's exciting to, um, you know, just have Street Fighter back on Xbox. And we didn't get a release date. All we know is 2023. So could be early next year or the end holidays. We don't know. I'm excited. And apparently the roster has been leaked as well. <laughs> Um, of course, we have our original eight, you know, Street Fighter 2 Road Warrior characters. But um, other than that, I think it's only like Akuma and certain ones coming back and then a bunch of new characters. But that's all we really know right now. You know, the trailers just come out, at least as of when I am showing this. But yeah, guys, that's it. How do you feel Street Fighter back on Xbox? Are you excited? I know I am. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and if you're looking forward to it. But if you like this type of content, please I make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz. And as always, everyone, I've been your host, Soxie. Take care.